Hi, this is Passy from Passy's World of ICT, the guy with the white hat. And this lesson is kind of like Images on Forms Part 2. Uh, and it's just going to do a thing where you've built a form based on a query rather than on tables. And this can be a little bit tricky to get the image location linked. So it's best you've watched our previous video before this one, which was just images onto forms. And this is kind of like a little part two. The original video is really long and we're kind of pushed for time and we actually sort of forgot to do this. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, hats off and sunglasses off because we're inside right now, even though it's really bright under these lights we've got set up. But uh, let's get into it. Okay, now what happened with the uh, images on forms lesson was that we set you a practice assignment while we were doing that. Okay, so we had this um, practice assignment here. And what was supposed to happen was you were supposed to take the sold items form and try and get the images of the stock items appearing on that. Now, if you tried going through the usual steps, all right, you didn't, uh, let's just recap the usual steps. So the usual steps is you take a form and you resize it a bit and make room on the form for the image uh, there. And then you have the image location stored in the table. So what's going on here is that we've got all these images in a folder on our computing device. We get the path for that folder for where they are and in the stock items table, we would put that path, the image location, and then we would uh, put the name of each image from down here and put .jpg on the end. Okay, so that would happen there. And there's a couple of little stray symbols on that I've just noticed, which will need some fixing up. Okay, and the idea then was to uh, add one of, a picture box onto your form and just grab any image from here. So perhaps the camera lens one or the telephone, just one of the images and you get your picture box on. And the way you do that is you then um, have to, after the first picture's on, you then link uh, to your image location in the table, okay? To get it to then for any image, it could go to the right record, find out the right location and put it on there. But what you would have found is that when you went to do this step, because the sold items table is based on a query and it's not based on getting the data from tables, this would not have come up. And we're gonna jump across to Microsoft Access and show you this right now. Okay, so First, let's just do the stock items form. So in the images on forms lesson, you would have made this form. And when you flick through the records, it's all good. It shows all of the different uh, correct items for the correct things. Okay, so that's all good. Now on the sold items one here, you would have uh, perhaps widened it, managed to make the picture box. But what's happening is that when we flick through the records here, that's actually correct. The description is the lens and that's a photo of a camera lens. But the next one is two matching garden elephants. And uh, that don't look like elephants. Uh, it doesn't even look like an elephant's trunk. So something's really wrong there. And we've got another sold image here, a sold item, the ladies mountain bike, and that's not showing up either. Okay, so the thing is why it's not working on this sold items one is the stock items one okay everything's working fine you flick through and get the different images that's because this was built the form was actually built from the stock items table now when you build a form from a table even if you're just showing these first fields here on the form the form actually has access to all the fields in the table okay so it can access everything in the table, even if you're not showing that item on the form, like you're not showing the image location on the form, but it can still access it. And we also had the customer information showing up. If we go back to that stock items form, see how you've got all of your seller information, the seller customer here. So that's all showing up as well. Now how that's working out is if we go to database tools, relationships, 
If the stock items table was used to build the form, there's a relationship that it can link from the seller ID in the stock items table over to the seller ID in the sellers and it can get any information you need from the sellers table as well. So because we've built that form from tables, it's a bit of a different story from when you build it from a query. Okay, this sold items form here that we're having trouble with uh, seeing the images, that was built from the sold items query, okay, which shows this information. So it only has access, that form only has um, available these fields here, which are in the query and image location isn't one of them. And you might be thinking, well, why don't we add image location onto that? Uh, so that then it will be available to the form. The problem with that is that this is going to be a report that we can generate and make nice looking use the, using the report wizard uh, and we don't want image location on the report. So you might be thinking, okay, well, why don't we go into design view and we can have image location, but we'll just untick this show box here. Okay, when you untick the show box, Access uh, for some silly reason thinks, oh, they don't need that form at all and that field at all. And so that field will then become unknown to the query. So that doesn't work as well. But look, there is a way of doing it. And uh, how we do it is we go into the actual form that we've got and let's go into uh, layout view on that. And if you click onto the picture box we've made here and in the design tab, if we go to property sheet, if we have a look at the data for that, okay, on the data tab, we're trying to set a control source and we only have the things available here, which are on the query and image location isn't one of them. And that's the big problem. That's why we can't link those image location addresses in the stock item table onto this form to get the correct images simply because image location is nowhere to be seen here. Okay, now we have to get image location available. Now the way we do that is we go to add existing fields. Okay, so we're on our form and we go to add existing fields. Now this will give us a field list and it's just showing us what's in the query. There's no image location there, but if you click on show all tables, then it'll show us all our tables and we'll have the stock items table here. And in the stock items table, if we go down, we have the image location. Okay, so what we can do is we can push down our left mouse button and we can drag that out onto this form. Okay, now we get this interesting message here. Access will create a new query embed it into the form. Okay, so at the moment the form's running off the sold items query. Access is going to take that information and kind of make a new query that includes image location and put it sort of running behind the scenes in our form. And this is actually excellent because it means our sold items query will stay the way it is and we'll have a special query here that which is doing the form. All right, so this is good. So we actually click yes on this. Now it's added the field on and you're thinking, well, that's made the form look really ugly, okay? And yes, perhaps it has. Like if we go into form view, yeah, that's showing up underneath the picture and that's super ugly. Let's just go back to layout view. Look, there's a way of fixing that later on, but we've got now image location is now available to this form. So if we click on the picture box and we go back to property sheet and we go to control source, see down the bottom here, image location is now available. So we can link up that picture box to the image location. So we do that and we'll just close the property sheet and even just flicking through here in layout view, bim ba boom, everything's great. Like it's now showing all of the correct images. Now we just got the problem of that image location there is really ugly. So let's go into layout view and just click on both of those fields. Now how you do that is you click on the first one, the image location label, hold down your shift key and then click on the second one. So hold down shift and then you can grab both of them. Now we need to go into the property sheet and on the format tab, the very first property here is visible. And at the moment they are visible and we can see them. 
All we need to do is change that to no. So we change visible equals no. Okay, and let's just close the property sheet there. And you'll be thinking, no, I can still see them on the form. Visible equals no isn't working. Well, remember, we're in layout view. So in layout view, you can see them. But if up the top left hand corner, if we go to form view, ha ha, now everything is really good. So what's happening there is we've actually got the right picture happening for the right product. Okay, so when you've built a form based on a query, that's how you do it. You have to add a new field using add existing fields onto your actual form, which will look ugly when you first do it. But that will then mean that on the picture box, you will be able to set the control source and actually get that image location and link your pictures into where they're located on your computer. And that's just a little step of um, using the format tab and visible on those uh, label and field there for the image location and just make them not show up on the form. So they're still on the form here, but they're just hiding in the background uh, where we can't see them. And that's pretty much all we needed to do. So that's all of that. And we've updated the instructions on the actual uh, previous Lesson. So on the images lesson now, if you do go to our website on the link and you have that material, okay, those resources, the actual guide will have these pages in it which show you how to do this, show you how to do images when you've built the form from a query. So there's not anything new you need to get. This is just kind of like an images part two video because we didn't fit this into the previous video and we're sorry about that. Now, where to next? We've actually got lessons up for uh, input field validation. We've got a lesson up for that and we've got a lesson for masks that'll be coming really soon. Uh, we're planning to put up lessons, new videos once a week on the weekend. So subscribe to our channel, to the YouTube channel, and that way you'll get each of our lessons when we put them up. And uh, we still got to do reports. So at some stage we'll be doing a video about reports and one about doing the main menu switchboard navigation. Then we've got a, quite a few other things we still want to do for access uh, as well. And they'll gradually come out as we release videos. Uh, now something else we wanted to do just before we finished up here, was uh, we wanted to just give a shout out for a friend of ours. So Vivid Maths is a YouTube channel or Vivid Math if you're American. Uh, now this guy Spiro, he has lots of maths videos. So like I'm the IT guy that can help you out learning IT. Spiro is your go-to man for mathematics. So check out his YouTube channel. They are really good, simple, clear, short videos. You can see like 5.8K views, 12K views, uh, a lot of people are watching them and a lot of people are getting benefits. So if you are a high school student or someone in a community college or anywhere that needs to uh, get to grips with some mathematics, uh, check out Vivid Maths, that YouTube channel, and subscribe to that and look at that and that will help you out. So uh, that's the end of our images on screen forms using queries. So we will add this in to the YouTube channel and yeah, hope this helps you out a lot with your work in Microsoft Access.